Hey everybody, Cliff Aaron from Remax here with my update for Milton, Georgetown, and Glen Williams for June 6th to the 12th, 2021, just uh, last week. Uh, so before I get there, how's the market doing? The market is, uh, it's funny. Uh, let's see, the Scott area of Milton, I sold one there a couple weeks ago and I, just for fun, I checked out how this, uh, uh, the recent sales have been doing. There's been one sale in, uh, in the Scott area of a detached home in the past two weeks. So the market is really, it's funny, you know, it's funny the way it's, it's shifted in different areas and other areas it hasn't, but it's slowed. Um, Mississauga, slow. Um, Toronto, slow. The, the interesting thing right now, this is a little, little, uh, little fact. <laughs> Usually when I show a property, you know, you're supposed to show, uh, show a property and then, you know, call for feedback uh, to the agent that showed it. Uh, that's what everybody, every agent says that they say, oh yeah, we call everybody for feedback, which is untrue because I rarely get a call for feedback when the market's hot. But now that the market is starting to slow down a little bit, I'm finding I'm getting calls when I do a showing, I'm getting a call for feedback to say, what do you think? Kind of trying to promote a sale, but, uh, I was never getting that up until, uh, I'd say about a month ago. So you can feel the market shifting and, and it's important right now to be, uh, to properly price your home. That's the big thing. And it's really, really hard to do. For sellers right now to mentally get it through their head that you know the, the market peaked in March we're not going to get those prices again there's a chance we might not get them for a lot of years it's possible because the rates are going to go up eventually um, so right now we're, we've we've actually come down a little bit so so keep that in mind I'm seeing right now offer dates are coming along uh, no offers till Tuesday at 6 p.m. Wednesday comes along and all of a sudden the, mar the, uh, the, the property hasn't sold it's been put back on the market at a higher price, and now it's the old-fashioned negotiable uh, method that we always used to do. So I, I can see that coming a lot more. Uh, pretty soon, the bidding wars are gonna be a thing of the past, in my opinion. We're getting there, we're getting close, but there's still areas where it bucks the trend, you know what I mean? Like where it's just, it makes no sense, but, well, it does make sense. They're original properties. They have pools, they own ravines, you know, that's, that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm finding Georgetown is doing okay. Uh, Milton, certain areas of Milton are doing okay. Uh, Georgetown is doing okay if, as long as it's a detached. There's lots of townhouses and, and uh, available right now. The price is kind of, uh, 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 it's very com uh, competitive uh, price-wise. A lot of supply, a lot more supply than there was uh, compared to you know what we were talking about a few months ago. So anyways, getting to the sales. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about one thing. No, nah, I'll do that next week. I was, I was going to talk about you know renting your AC and furnace. I'll do that next week. Because I always say that's never, never, ever, ever, never a good idea. Sometimes it is, but <laughs> usually it's not. Anyways, getting to the sales for Milton and Georgetown, June 6th to the 12th. Uh, 27 detached sold in Milton, 1.259 on average. 11 semis, 961. 15 towns at 847. And it's funny, that detached price, 1.259, that's not as high as it's been. So it's, it's come down slightly. And then the older detached homes and older Milton, they're still selling well. Uh, 1.124 on average. Because land, that's the big thing. People want the lots. Milton, the, the properties are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and, and the homes are big. So the lots are getting tinier and tinier, as everybody knows. Uh, and then you go to Georgetown. Georgetown is doing better than Milton because the more property, you get more, you get bigger land and, uh, you know, more surface area on your property, more frontage, more depth. And there's a lot more ravines and that sort of thing in Georgetown. Uh, let's see, June 6th to the 12th, our sales are uh, one semi sold, believe it or not. One semi for 825, and semis never come up in Georgetown, it's rare. You know, I'll go uh, a week or two, no, actually two or three weeks without reporting a sale of a semi. Uh, detached, there was 12 sales, 1.223 on average. That was because there was a big one in, uh, uh, in, Georgia, in Glen Williams and one on 8th line as well, so that skewed the numbers up a little bit. And then one townhouse sold for 750, and that's, that's low. Usually there's more than one townhouse's. Uh, that that sale, sell in Georgetown, uh, quite a few go. You know, Seed House Lane I think was the only one that sold at 750, and that house a few months ago would have been about 775, 780. So you can see it's kind of corrected a little bit. Anyway, so that's it for uh, for the week of June 6th to the 12th uh, for Milton to Georgetown and Glen Williams. And uh, any questions, send me a DM, PM, uh, direct message, personal message, email, <laughs> phone call, text, whatever you like. Always around. Cliff Barron for Remax. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.